we are indeed uh, monitoring the situation very closely. Uh, there are uh, emerging evidence that, uh, that uh, some of the viral variants of uh, concern uh, may uh, have uh, an increased risk of, uh, of breakthrough, but yet at the same time for many other variants, uh, this has not been seen. Uh, the data for uh, the double mutation uh, variant is uh, still emerging and we are monitoring the situation closely to see whether this would be a concern, particularly for us. As of the 20th of April, we have detected seven local uh, COVID-19 cases with the B117 variant and one local case uh, with the B1351 variant. This is, is otherwise uh, known as the South African variant. Uh, case 61822 with the B1351 variant or the South African variant uh, works in the marine industry and was exposed to potentially infectious sources uh, from ships visiting Singapore. Uh, the remaining seven cases that we've uh, uh, identified, and these are cases 59028, 59059, 59084, 59340, 59351, 60389 and 60439 uh, were all infected with the B117 variant and this is otherwise uh, commonly known as the UK variant. All necessary public health actions have been taken promptly to isolate and ring fence all these cases. And while there have been transmission to members of the same household uh, for three cases amongst these eight cases, there has not been any uh, detected further community spread. Uh, in addition to these uh, local cases, uh, we have detected 342 imported cases, travellers from various countries coming into Singapore uh, with the B117, the B1351, the P1 uh, a Brazilian uh, strain, otherwise known as the B1128-1, the P2 variant, otherwise known as the B1128-2 uh, variant, and the P3 variant, which is known as the, uh, otherwise known as the B11283 variant. The B1525 and B1617 variants have also been detected among imported cases into Singapore. All these cases have already been placed on stay home notice or isolated upon arrival in Singapore, and we have not detected any further community spread for any of these other variants of our interest. At this point in time, um, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of thought that uh, the vaccinations should be able to last us for at least uh, 9 months, 12 months. We believe that it's going to be much longer than that, perhaps even uh, uh, 15 to 18 months. But uh, beyond that, uh, it, it's still a relatively uh, uncertain situation. And there are two uh, developments that uh, may um, influence us in our thinking about uh, giving further vaccinations, even to those who have received uh, their, their first two vaccinations already. The first is, uh, just as recovered workers may eventually have uh, a, a gradually waning immune uh, protection, this may also apply to those who uh, have uh, been vaccinated. And therefore, uh, as we uh, do tests following up uh, some of uh, these uh, individuals who have been vaccinated and if we find that, that immune level starting to uh, drift downwards, uh, this would then be the right time to start uh, uh, planning to vaccinate uh, uh, these people as well. The other consideration are the viral variants of uh, concern, uh, where uh, at this time, the vaccines that we've chosen, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine, have shown still efficacy against these variants of concern, uh, but we uh, have to prepare for the possibility that there may be future variants that, uh, where the vaccines that we currently use are not as efficacious. And if that were the case, uh, it may well be the case that we need a booster vaccine doses uh, to augment the immunity that we already have from uh, the previous vaccinations and to give us additional protection particularly against these uh, variants of concern. So this is something we're studying very closely and we discussed this uh, with our counterparts in other countries. The manufacturers are looking into this as well and they hope to pr produce improved versions of the vaccine that will have enhanced protection even against these emerging variants of concern. And where such a product is available, uh, we may uh, plan to make that available for as booster doses uh, in the population that had previously been vaccinated already. The new strains 
of the virus that we see in many other countries, I think, are worrying because it suggests that we have to continue staying on guard, even tightening some measures, and even perhaps after this round of vaccination, we might have to continue with further rounds of vaccinations, even up to beyond this year, because we will have to be confronting not just the virus today, but potentially new strains of the virus that may be more infectious and virulent. So once again, we call on everyone to stay alert and vigilant. The fight against COVID-19 is not over, but working together, we can emerge stronger and we can defeat the virus. Thank you.